Hey guys, James Moon with Technomedics, and we're back here in Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show, looking out for the best trending technologies for your business in 2020. So one of the questions we get asked most by our clients is, what type of laptop should I be getting for my business? So we're here to go to check out a couple of our partners, Dell and Lenovo, and hopefully they got some really good products for your business. Our manufacturer partners like Lenovo and Dell are always pushing the limits on size, portability, and privacy for their systems. And every year, without disappointment, there's always new models or the latest and greatest features added to their system lineup. For this video, our focus is on the business-grade systems both of them have to offer. First up is my favorite from Lenovo, the X1 Carbon 8th generation. This year's model comes with a much brighter and vivid display but best of all, it's ready to handle Wi-Fi 6 right out of the box. What makes this laptop stand out is the size, weight, and its improved screen. I also took a look at the ThinkPad X390, which has the privacy mode features like the new privacy alert technology. A great addition to any organization with strict privacy concerns. It's searching for a set of eyes, and if it happens to detect another pair or a third eye, you will get an alert on either side of the screen kind of indicating where that eye is being detected from. And while it's monitoring your eyes too, if you happen to look away from the screen, it does have an automatic blur feature as well. On the desktop side, I get a chance to talk with Ricky from Lenovo about the ThinkCenter M90N Nano. It's considered one of the world's smallest functioning desktop computers. And one of the reasons why they're so spectacular is with this tiny form factor, you could just go ahead and mount it underneath your desk or put it behind your monitor and you won't even know it's there. Next up was Dell. They had a couple of new product announcements. Dell introduced a new model class, the Latitude 9000 series. This is the Mercedes of laptops. It's equipped with machine learning and AI called Dell Optimizer. It also features a mind-blowing 30 hours of battery life and top firing speakers for those long Zoom or WebEx meetings. This is the lightest 15 inch commercial notebook on the market at 3.2 pounds. And they made the bezels ultra thin, which is part of the reason for their weight reduction. One of the things we don't usually recommend is an all-in-one station, just because they're hard to service. Whenever the motherboard goes out, we'll have to replace the whole system. Looks like Dell has a solution for this with the Optiplex 7070 Ultra. This solution will definitely keep the desk nice and neat. Moving on to one of the most eye-catching innovations that we've never seen before at CES would have to be the display technologies. This was definitely different than anything we've seen before, something out of a futuristic movie. Here we're looking at a transparent display by a manufacturer called Konka. When the TV is turned off, the display is transparent. When it's on, it can display something beautiful like a fish tank or digital images. It drew tons of attention for a seemingly newer brand to CES. LG also had their version of a transparent display, and this can be used for storefronts or windows and offices. We see displays making huge leaps in capabilities. I didn't see any transparent displays at last year's show, and this year, they were everywhere. Another trend was around flexible, bendable screens. This capability eliminates any design limitations that manufacturers had in the past. They are able to create bendable phones to large TVs to any shapes and sizes. 
Robots were everywhere. What made them different this year was that they were more interactive. Robots, or any variation of robotics, showed how they can help humans rather than just replace them or take over their jobs. With the right solution, I think robots would definitely help to increase human productivity. They are aimed at taking the load off of human labor and take on remedial tasks that could be more physically demanding on a human's body. My personal favorite was the server room robots. Robots seem to be taking on a personal assistant role, which can benefit many different types of organizations. Imagine having an extra set of eyes, or hands, or even placing someone who can physically monitor something like a server room 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Check out Samsung's new personal robot concept, Bali. It's taking a robot to the next level with artificial intelligence. This ball-like device can coordinate functions like sending the vacuum to pick up a mess your dog made while you're out at work. However, it is still very much a concept. It looks like robots will continue to break boundaries and find new ways to help humans in the near future. 5G is a hard concept to display at something like CES. What I saw were new 5G enabled mobile devices and sensors and conceptual smart city designs. This is the reality of 5G. IoT and 5G are enabling the future vision of smart cities and a more connected world. Smart cities promise to deliver notable advances such as less roadway congestion from smart traffic signals. And what can that mean for your business? You'll need new devices that are 5G enabled and prepare for a faster internet connection to help people to work in new ways. That increased speed and powerful connection means big things for businesses seeking to pull off competitive digital transformations. And now the last trend is really the combination of several trending technologies like AI, AR, VR, and robotics, taking the AI experience to a more human level. One of my favorite displays was the neon display of virtual humans. Neon is funded by a Samsung lab, and you can consider it a chatbot with a face and personality. A neon is an artificially intelligent digital avatar that's meant to mimic real human appearance and emotions. It's envisioned with a lifelike appearance that has its own personality that can converse and behave like humans. What makes them even more realistic is that neons can also remember and learn. I just hope they don't develop any bad habits over time. Well that wraps up CES 2020 and 5 trending technologies you may soon want to use for your business. My name is James Moon and I'm the CEO of TechMedics an IT consulting firm in Los Angeles. If you like this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned for our next video.